Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyder, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. And before we get to our regularly scheduled broadcast, I want to show you what happens whenever I roam around in a miscraft age, which I have temporarily disabled underground biomes in miscraft ages because, well, it cut down on the world generation time considerably. And, uh, yeah. I've got a lot of pages. As far as I know, I haven't managed to find single biome yet, which is extremely annoying. Although, I have no idea why I need it at this moment. And you'll notice this. I had a slight issue with the recording. I had my task manager open, and apparently when running full screen, it still considers it as top on top, even though I can't see it. So I tried to click over here, and... Yeah, it started screwing with my game, so I had to re-record after I made that. Now, this is what I made, an alchemic chemistry set. It's made from a brewing stand, a weak blood orb, and two pieces of obsidian. Now, inside of this, we'll put things. As you can see, I put a magician's blood orb down here. I'm not sure what the lowest tier blood orb you can put in there is, but I put the magician's. Now, in order to do some chemistry... You obviously need stuff to work with. Now, the first primary component you're going to need of most things... Why are you not going? Ah, it is going. Is simple catalyst, which as you can see is made from sugar, two pieces of redstone, a piece of glowstone, and a piece of gunpowder. Now, I'm making six of those, and for very good reason. Because, the next thing we need is arcane pedestals. These are made from six obsidian and a weak blood shard. And we need seven of them. However, one of these needs to go back in there, and we will upgrade it using six blocks of iron into an arcane plinth. Why did I have two blocks of iron already? Weird. Now, that these are done, we'll throw those in there. We'll grab our ink sacks. We'll put those here. Which, by the way, I went and got a squid thing, and I'll show you what I did with that here in a second since I pretty much have to go down there anyhow. Now, three water bottles, a simple catalyst, and an ink sack will get you aquasalis, or basically the element of water. At least I'm pretty sure it's the element of water. I hope so, otherwise I'm going to have a very bad day very soon. But, uh... Hopefully, I shouldn't have any major issues with this fight... I'm setting myself up in a way where it shouldn't cause me any difficulties. Uh, you'll see in just a second, I need to finish this. You need six of the element you're working with in order to summon an elemental. And so that's why I have that. And you'll notice I have my bound sword, because killing it we need to get a shard from it. Now as you can see I have a uh, force field thing set up down here. Why can I not place you there? Why can I not place you there? I'm so confused right now. Can I place anything there? No. Ah, it's because there was a blood light. Yeah, I had the particles turned down to get them out of my face, basically. And apparently those lights become invisible when you do that. So, around the plinth, you'll place the pedestals in this formation. As far as I know, rotation doesn't matter. It's just that you have them away like this. The way I remember it is you put one on each side of it, and then you basically do that exact same thing, but you stagger it one in each direction afterwards. So, on these, we're going to put one of each of these. Now, as you may have noticed, I have a remote controller. It's actually the one that I had over in my fish thing, but I reconfigured it for that projector. And we're going to set up a force field. Because I don't want this thing going anywhere. Okay, so. This is water, and that said, I'm going to put this on, just in case it tries to disable the things in my helmet. Now it's going to consume these one at a time until it gets to the last one. And 
and water elemental. Now, each elemental has different bonuses. Wow, he dropped far quicker than I was expecting. Oh, I forgot to turn off the interdiction matrix. Whoops. Well, that made that fight considerably easier than it was supposed to be. Oops, I did not mean to put that in there. Okay, so now we need the remote orderer. I want my demon blood shard back. That is why we need to kill it with the bound blade. I'm pretty sure you have to kill it with the bound blade in order to get the shard. Now, this shard is going to get us to our, our next tier. Should that really be water? Oh uh, yeah, I suppose it would be. But anyhow, we are going to just fly over to our tier 5 altar. This is the big reason why we upgraded it. Ignore that, that was my AFK box. And... I believe I have this disabled at the moment. Maybe. Me and this thing have not been having much of an agreement. Now, uh, yes, the switch is on, which means the power is on. I have a tier 5 blaze spawner that I made with the soul shard underneath of here. Uh, hello? Why are you not spawning? Okay, I'm kind of irritated as to what just happened. In case you're not aware of what just happened, I just had my tier 5 shard get eaten by my trash compactor. Crap. Well, I suppose I'm going to need to make a new one. Well, crap. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, wait, we have a problem. We have a problem. This was not supposed to happen. So, you may be wondering why exactly I'm in the end. And uh, th there's a perfectly logical reason for this. One of the... Uh, one of the... Actually, more than one of the places I explored had an ender dragon in it. And I thought, you know, I could take the portal spawned by the ender dragon that was created from those, and I could use that to escape, right? I was uh, not really expecting to end up here. Now, one of the big things about Hardcore Ender expansion is the dragon is a bit more aggressive. It can also destroy a great many things, and in this case, it has blinded me. Uh, did you end already? Thank you. Now, back to what I was doing. We hey, rude. Okay. Is that all of them? So yeah, the uh, hardcore Ender expansion dragons tend to be a bit more difficult to kill, and. They also have special abilities and stuff, although this one's not terribly useful for it, because it's just kind of letting me kill it at the moment. Is there any more? Apparently angered and Enderman. 
Angry Enderman. Dead Enderman. Yeah, the hardcore Ender expansion stuff, like, first of all, well, besides all the clouds, there's tons of little islands and stuff, and... Hello? And the, uh, there's a lot of stuff related to this mod in and of itself that's added. And as you can see, the Ender Dragon can also destroy the Obsidian, which is... This is not what was supposed to happen this episode. I'm supposed to be making my Archmage Blood Orb. Not fighting an angry ender dragon. Can't put that fire out. Come back here. Fine. It doesn't seem to like me being in midair. No, I can still partly see you, right? That was an ender lily. Nifty. Hey. Hi. Can I do your special ability? Stop. Just die. 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 Please just die. It's dead. Uh, okay, seriously, bats? Seriously? Oh, yeah, now the uh, joyous fun stuff that I'm really going to get a hundred billion of. This is the uh, Ender Essence as part of Hardcore Ender Expansion. Apparently, there's Ender Lilies here, which is nice. My inventory is now full of Dragon Essence. This was not supposed to turn out this way. These things were not supposed to happen yet. Accidental Ender Dragon. Oh well. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now, maybe I can get back to what I was doing. Right, so, the advantage of having worlds... Miscraft worlds that have nether fortresses floating around in them is you can find quite a few blaze spawners. Also, while I was undoing the error of my ways, I had time to contemplate what I had probably done wrong. And what I've probably done wrong is. I don't know, that's still connected. Well, I'll just turn your Y radius to zero. Okay. Now, can I just place this directly on that? I can. question is, why are you still off? You shouldn't be off. Oh, geez. Things, things are happening. Things are happening. 
Fine. Stay like that. Oh, jeez. Uh, bandage on a bullet wound. Close the door. Oh, where am I? I'm lost. Follow the water. Things are not turning out the way they were supposed to. Stop. Let me up. Wee. Okay. Now. As we can have a look at now. The demon blood shard. Can be used to make a demonic teleposition focus. We're not going to worry about that. Can be used to make an awaken activation crystal. But right here. 75,000 LP. Gets you an Archmage's Blood Orb. Now, it drains this at, I believe, 50 life points a tick. Oh, and you know what else is going wrong? It is off to do the thing. Ugh. Okay. You know what? Give me those. One of you goes there. Oh, let me up. One of you goes there. And now, I'm going to go down here. This needs to be turned back up. Now, if I do that, it should start spawning blazes. Good. Good. Okay. Now. That is not what's supposed to be in there. Now, as I'm sure you saw the sound muffler down there, I'm hoping that this will keep up. Uh, it seems to be doing a really good job of it. Uh, let's see, 75,000, huh? So it's draining a thousand per second, so it takes, what, just over a minute, I think? I don't have nothing better to do. That blood. Uh, Archmage's blood orb. Usage, 50 LP a tick. The drain is, I think... Well, no, no. Oh, the drain is for if you're not meeting its requirement, how fast it'll lose it. Uh, I don't think there's an easy way to see how much the Archmage's blood orb will bring in. But the Archmage's blood orb, now, if we have a look... Our maximum LP we can have right now is roughly a million. The Archmage's Blood Orb brings that up to 10 million. But it requires it to be in a tier 5 altar. Oh yes. Archmage's Blood Orb. So now if we put that in there, that should be able to draw the liquid out about as fast as we can generate it. Uh, with any luck, it'll do it a little bit faster, but that doesn't look like it's necessarily the case. But the spawner should keep running so long as it's loaded. Which it should be. I don't know how long that death has been there, by the way. And this is a radio. It's pretty much useless, but I built it because I'm going to be using it for aesthetic purposes eventually. Not really hard to make. This seems dark. What's going on? Where's all my micro blocks? Where's all my lights? What the heck's going on here? Is Project Red removed? No. Where did... They're there. Because I can't pass through. They're not generating light. Well... Hmm... So I made this using just a sky biome and a no weather. This is the age I was talking about. I came in here, and there was an ender dragon. I fought it. I ended up with this over here. 
And killing Ender Dragons apparently gets you miniature hearts. When I came through, this is what happened. I ended up here. So that was mildly unpleasant. So let's come back through and see if this clears things up. Maybe? Hopefully? Oh, uh, micro blocks are still missing. Huh. That is a weird glitch. I'm not gonna lie. So, now that I've got the... Yeah, it's going up pretty quick now. That sh that'll cap off at 10 million, which should give plenty enough for just about anything I need at that point. And none of these really needs to be here, but I might as well just leave them there. And... I'm going to put a light in this center here. But whenever I killed that other... I just tried to run through there because it looks open. As you can see, there's the miniature yellow heart. And I've got... Oh, eight of those. I didn't want to use them before because I was uncomfortable about upgrading heart containers. That... These take a lot of gold. Look at that. That's 72 gold. I don't even know what 8 times 72 is. I want to try something. This is going to cause instability. I know it does kind of exist. Uh, this is the other notebook with all the stuff I did have. Uh, let's take a flat world... Uh, Molten Deep Iron? No. Hmm. Oh, Ocean Biome. I might as well take it since I've already got that. Probably gonna need to copy the thick world. Uh... I'm looking for one that I found. Unless I already threw it in the other one, which is a possibility, but right here. Molten gold. That that can turn out to be a lot of gold. Uh, well, I have the portable tank. Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll take this as well. But I can't be entirely sure this is going to work as I wish it to. Uh, ink. So, I need this ink. Oh, I never did show you my contraption. Water? Oops. One, two, three, four, five. That is not what goes there. Okay, so, get ourselves a link panel and grab one of these linking books. Uh, we'll pick up age five. It's a good age. It's not terrible, at least. And over here, link panel, ocean biome. Uh, hmm. Let's just take this out for a second. I will throw my flat world into it. Make a copy of flat world. And I've got like medium biomes or something floating around. 
Oh, I just realized something. I'm going to want to put the molten gold in there as well. Uh, although maybe I want surface lakes. I will use tiny biomes. Tiny biomes, surface lakes. So I'm going to want what else in here? Just ocean biome. Okay, I'm going to want tiny biomes. Surface lakes, molten gold block, molten gold block. So, ocean biome, molten, molten gold block. I'm not sure which one needs to be first, so that's what I'm doing. Tiny biomes, flat world, molten gold, surface lakes. So I've got my linking book. Uh, probably gonna want a lectern. Hopefully, I don't end up dragging this out too long. I'm gonna need a stick. Well, two sticks and a piece of wood. So I'm gonna make a lectern on the other side. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to generate. The others didn't, not after I disabled underground biomes. I'm hoping that with any luck, I can get molten gold. Yes. Yes. Delicious, delicious gold. <laughs> oh. This game, it works so hard to make sure that I feel like an able genius whenever I do something. I cannot be sure of how much gold this is going to be. That's the only thing I know for a fact from this entire situation. What I am going to do is I can put this here. Uh, this is the fluid, the, I wanted to also pull from here, as you can see it is pulling liquid out of that, which is good. Uh, this is the other one, I want to disable the fluid tank, and I want to apply that fluid tank here? X seven eighty two, right? No, seven eighty three. Close enough. Yeah. So now I should be able to put this in here. We'll start running that through. Where is it putting the gold? That's missing, so I don't know what's gonna exactly happen. That's a problem. Uh, I'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna see if reloading the world fixes it. So I went and made another trip for gold, and reloading the game, well, actually just the map, I didn't completely exit Minecraft, did bring everything back, thankfully. And so now I'm just waiting for that to be able to accept the rest of that. Very good. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to process through all of that, but it should be 
Oh yeah, I'm getting a lot of gold. So, I'm going to need 81 blocks of gold. I think. No. I need 64 blocks of gold. So the easiest way to do that... I don't have any safeguards against that, unfortunately. Wow, I have seven gold left. Okay, so I will do that. Uh, stop. Miniature yellow heart. there, that goes there. I have no idea how many hearts exactly these give. I'm going to assume they're like two each. But, what? Do they really go there? Huh. That's mighty odd. I don't know, we'll let my health increase and we'll see where it gets to. Not that anything's really been able to hurt me anyhow. Uh, and of course... Oh, the, uh, the thing is not doing anything. Why are you not functioning as expected? Because that was turned on. Right? Hello? doesn't seem right. Redstone shouldn't turn it on. Redstone should turn it off. That is deeply confusing, to say the least. Anyhow, now that we're generating exuberant amount of blood again. We've got that upgraded. Uh, eventually what I can do... That is not how you spell blood. Eventually what I can do is I can make the energy blaster. That'll be fun. Or the energy bazooka, rather. Uh, it can be used in any of the alchemical processes, as I'm pretty sure all the other ones are. The biggest use of it is to basically increase the size of your blood network to quite a considerable value. So hopefully I'll be at roughly 10 million, not 10 million, yeah 10 million by the time we come back next time. Uh, I'm going to call this good for now. Have we gotten through all this gold? I think we're actually done with the gold now. I want to see how much gold is left over after all that. Uh, nope. Stop. Uh, 145 gold. Uh, you know what? I want to check out... See how f hard this is to make. Endothermic pump. Uh, I don't have any lava. And I'm too lazy to get lava at the moment. Although I have the other pump. How about anchor? Get the world anchor. That other pump still out there. Dimensional transceiver. Do I dare do it this way? And where's the other transceiver? Now that I think about it, I have no idea where I left it. Oh. There you is.
that is something I'm going to have to consider. Uh, let's grab a conduit and the cube. I tore that thing down because I got pretty much more than I could need. Put that there. Put you there. You're going to send power and receive fluid. I just realized I got this set up in a very terrible way. I, I'm going to Pump in a bunch of that gold. You better believe it. Because I so see no reason not to. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure you can guess what I'm going to do there. Uh, so I'm going to basically convert that entire lake of gold into ingots... And, well, I'll meet up with you guys next time. I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.